Welcome back to Toe Talks. Today we're going to talk about technology, but more importantly, how it is that technology and social media connected both Tisha and I. And if it wasn't for YouTube, I would know nothing about you. It was easier to reach out and say, hey, Jessica, like, I want to meet you. And you actually messaged me first. And I, I, was, I was so excited. I'm like, oh, Jessica Cox, she, she messaged me and she wants to see me. And I was over the moon. I was excited to meet you. And I've never actually had a chance to interact with someone without arms like me. And it's been so fun, like getting to know you and your different style of not having arms and your techniques. And I'm interested in a lot of the different ways that you use technology. Mm -hmm and like how you use your cell phone and your computer and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, actually going back to that, we had a viewer who asked the question, what do you think about the advancements in technology, like voice activation, things like Siri on an iPhone. Do you make use of those things? Because I know they have transformed my life. When I send out a text, I don't text with my toes, though I can text with my toes. I prefer to just press that button and use voice activation to create the text and it makes it so much easier, so much faster, and saves me time. I think technology is moving in the right direction and it's going so fast that there's always new inventions every day to help us mm -hmm. and accessibility with cell phones and technology in general. I do use Siri all the time. Well, not all the time, I don't use Siri all the time. I use it often. But if I'm having a private conversation, I'll go ahead and text because I don't want to be in the middle of the movie theater and say, hey, mom, can you pick me up some underwear from the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be a little embarrassing. But and the surround sound would actually affect your voice activation. It would come out as like, hey, mom, will you pick me up something else? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, when I started using my computer, they had a program called Dragon. I used Dragon too. When I had Dragon, it wasn't, um, the technology wasn't there where it would know the difference between there, there, and there. Mm -hmm. And so it was harder to use Dragon when I was doing my essays. If I were dictating my essay, I'd have it written out. I'd have to go back and pretty much retype out my whole essay because the technology didn't know the difference between which words I were using. And Siri is, she actually does know the difference. That's and so awesome. I'm super excited about that. So do you use Dragon now? I do. And actually before that, this might really age me, but I remember in junior high typing out papers on a typewriter. I, I did use it. I feel old now, I now that I've admitted that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was introduced to Dragon Naturally Speaking, which is a software that uses voice activation to essentially create words on a screen. And at the time, it took like a week in order to train the software to understand your voice. Now it takes seconds. Right. It's pretty cool. It's just, it blows my mind. <laughs> what about the future of the, these advancements, like self-driving cars? Wouldn't that just transform the lives of people with disabilities? I am really interested in self-driving cars. It would be nice to be able to not have to drive myself and rest my leg and uh -huh. just like sit. But I'm also, I am terrified of technology. Like I like it and I'm terrified at the same time. I've seen too many sci-fi movies like iRobot or AI where technology has taken over and you've got these smart houses that are keeping you like locked in. So there's there's a catch-22 when it comes to technology and stuff like that. But I also heard that there was a huge accident where there was a self-driving car and like everyone died because it Ooh. like slammed into a semi and killed yeah. everybody in the car. So that's, is, it was kind of scary, but I'm sure that with technology and how fast it's growing, there's going to be those kinks right now and probably in about 10 to 20 years, if that will uh, be proficient in the drivings of the cars. And yeah, maybe we'll have some going. like hover cars where it's like in the sky and we're like all flying like these yeah. jets. <laughs> So, but you know what's incredible? I have to say, I'm very grateful for the connection we made through social media. And I know there are people out there who are watching and want to connect with someone who has similar experience to them to have this kind of bond that we have. You get to advise me on how to do things 
and I can share with you how I do things and we learn from each other, but our common bond of our life experiences is pretty incredible. And for those of you who are watching and would like to connect with someone who has a similar experience, there are many resources out there like the Amputee Coalition of America. For children, there's the International Child Amputee Network. There's the Helping, ha Helping Hands Foundation for uh, many people who have upper limb differences. And now that we have this foundation that I launched called Right Footed Foundation International, we hope to bring together many families and communities who have children with different um, amputations or born with different amputations to create that community of support. And there's also Facebook and Twitter and Instagram where there's a huge community and Facebook groups and, and um, what do you call them, chat, chat rooms where people can connect that way as well. Yeah, you don't have to actually go to a group, just go to a chat room, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and remind them how do they get in touch with us. So if you are interested in connecting with us, go ahead down below and click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Or you can actually find us on patreon.com slash toetalks if you want to help us in any way to create more episodes. If you have any ideas for us too, well, we would love to hear them. So hope to see you there. See you later.